Okay, Claire, have you ever had your fortune told? No. No. Well, I actually had my fortune told not so long ago by a gypsy lady, and um, I was quite intrigued by it. Yeah. And um, I asked whether it's a gift that you're born with or something that you can actually learn. And she suggested that uh, fortune telling is something you can learn. And she suggested using these cards, the gypsy fortune telling cards. And I'm going to come back to why these cards are so useful in a minute. Um, but right now, what's going to happen is I'm going to take the cards and I'm going to start dealing the cards face up in the pile like this yeah. on the table. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to call out stop anytime you like. Stop. This card? Okay, we'll place the rest of the cards just here. Now, I'm going to explain a little bit about these cards. If you notice, at the bottom of each card, there's pictures. Yeah. There's also words at the side of the cards. There's uh, plain cards in the uh, top corners. The cards the wrong way around. And um, various passages. Now, it's these passages which are most important. You see, should somebody select one of these cards, what happens is you read the passages and that dictates a little bit about the person's future. Now obviously as I was dealing through the cards you could have stopped us here, 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 but you actually stopped us right at this point here. So I'm going to place the very next card just underneath the envelope and we're going to come back to that one in a moment. Now, one thing which I haven't mentioned is um, a lot of psychics and fortune tellers, what they'll do is they'll um, ask to borrow a personal piece of uh, jewellery from somebody. And uh, what they do is they obviously do a reading from there. I'm going to borrow something personal from you. Um, not a piece of jewellery or anything like that, but the name of somebody who you know, but somebody I couldn't possibly know. Who would, who would that be? Mark. Mark. Now, it does nothing um, special other than just to set the personal tone yeah. for what's about to happen. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these cards, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the cards each at a time, and I'm going to try and find our almost sort of feel for vibrations from the cards, and try and guess which cards might affect your future. Okay. So let's go through, let's see. Um, straight away, for some reason, I'm being drawn towards the clover. Um, I think, let's have a look. Clover may be down here somewhere. Ah, there's the clover there. Do you want to just take the clover card? If you have a read of the paragraph, okay. and if you can just see if you can gain a, a little bit of insight as to what that would dictate about your future. Um, Any ideas? Um, if you have a look at the picture in conjunction with the words, it makes a little yeah. bit more sense. It, uh, it says the clover's a bearer of good tidings, yeah. so it means that you're in for some good fortune. Mm. But it's a little bit ambiguous, a little bit vague, it doesn't yeah. make much sense on its own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through um, and I'm going to see if I can find another card. Another card that might have some bearing on your future. I'm being drawn towards the book for some reason. Um, I think I've seen the book further down here. Uh, there's the book there. Would you like to take the book and just have a look? and see if you can get any idea as to what the book might mean about your future. Um, something about a mystery? Yeah, what it means is that um, you're going to discover a mystery. Right. You're going to discover something which is going to be quite mysterious. Okay. But don't worry, it's going to be positive when it's read in conjunction with the clover okay. card. It means it's going to be a positive discovery. Right. Now, a lot of psychics and fortune tellers, they'll do like a three-card spread. I don't know if you've heard of that before. Has anybody heard of a three-card spread? It's a reading done over three cards. Right. Now, can you remember, I'm not going to take another card from the pack, but can you remember before the trick began, we started dealing through the cards and you stopped me wherever you liked. Yeah. And we actually stopped uh, right on this card here. Yeah. And um, what I want you to do is if you take that card and just have a look at that card and see if you can get any ideas to what that card might mean. It's about the envelope. It's about the envelope that was under. Yeah. What it means is that this positive mystery is going to be found in the form of an envelope. Now, just so happens there's been an envelope sitting on the table throughout. Yeah. Now, this is the idea. Let's open up the envelope. I'm sure you're curious to find out exactly what's inside here. And um, if we actually open up the envelope, inside here is a small group of cards. Okay. Um, just to point out the obvious, obviously these cards have got different coloured backs to uh, these ones, but it's not um, what's written on the faces of the cards, it's what's written on the backs which actually counts. You see, if we actually just lay these cards out, <laughs> what's actually written on these cards is actually somebody's name. Uh, the name Mark. Does wow. that mean anything? Yeah. <laughs> That's very clever. Is Mark your brother? No, he's a friend of you. 